I served for 10 years. I was in, I was in Iraq. I was in Afghanistan. Um, I always thought of it as, you know what, I'm fighting for the American people. My involvement in politics and even really voting uh, isn't important because no matter what, I'm going to serve the people. And I'll let them decide and I'll just do the job. You know, I'll do what I'm, I'm asked to do for my country. Um, and so I never really, I never really thought about that. I thought about all of this until, until that kneeling, because I, because after the military is when I played football and I can tell you in a, in a football locker room and in the military in a, in a team room, the amount of diversity and, and different thought and beliefs and backgrounds, socioeconomic, whatever you want to call it, uh, are very broad. And we're as diverse as they come in both of those fields. Yet, because we go through stuff together, challenging stuff, and I, I'm not comparing going to war to playing a sport, but you know, playing college football, playing the NFL, there's a lot of sacrifice that has to go into that as well to be elite, just a different type of sacrifice. So when, uh, um, and we rise above all our differences when it's time to play the game, when it's time to go to battle. We fight for one another, the man on our left and right, woman on our left and right. And we would do anything for them. We would take a bullet for them. We don't even always like them or agree with everything that they say and think and believe, but we know they would do the same for us. And that is what's dramatically uh, lost in our country. Uh, you know, as far as just that love for one another and, and acceptance of differences and still being able to work together. 